Okay, I'm going to change the O2 sensor, downstream O2 sensor on my 2005 Toyota Matrix XRS. Um, the location of this is a little bit different than the location for the other models, so I thought I'd make a video and see if it's of use to someone. Um, first thing I'm going to do is disconnect the electrical connector. And this is really what's uh, different about this, the location. Uh, the electrical connector is found underneath this uh, center console. You've got to remove two 10 millimeter bolts, lift this up, and then the connector is right here. So you remove that, and then it's got to come underneath the carpet, and it goes through the floor right here in this back corner of the center side of the passenger floor. So if we pull the carpet back, it's right down in here. Since I want to make this easier to fish back out, I'm going to tie a piece of string onto this wire as I uh, pull it through the carpet so that I can use that to pull the new one back in without having to tear out the whole carpet. Next I'll push this grommet through the floor again with the uh, string just to make this easy. Well, I probably don't need the string, but I'm going to push the grommet through the floor and pull the the uh, wire all the way through and then I'll go loosen the sensor itself. Okay the grommet's loose now. Um, now I can go down and uh, turn loose the sensor. Okay I ran the engine for a minute just to try and get the pipe slightly warm and I'm going to try to break this loose with the proper uh, oxygen sensor socket. Um, in this case, it'll actually fit on the sensor. It didn't fit on the upstream one. So uh, let's see if it'll come loose. Okay. So this one actually came loose the way it's supposed to. So I'm going to just finish unscrewing it. And I'll just run it up through the floor. Then I'll go back up top and uh, snake the new one back down through the floor and then I'll tighten it up down here. Hold one back out of the way. Grab the new one, sneak it through the hole. I'm going to go back down and tighten that. I'm going to put anises on these threads before I screw this in so that it can come back out again when we're done. This is on the threads. I'm going to insert this in here. Feel the, the crush washer on these snug up and, and then you'll know it's tight. You don't need to really do it. Okay, that uh, got it uh, snugged up. Now we'll go back up top, untwist this cable that's a little twisted, reinstall the ground it.
tied my string onto my new uh, connector and I'm gonna use that to help me uh, walk it back up through the carpet. So I didn't actually need that string. It, it, it would go through easily enough. But I'll reconnect the, the connector and then I will clear my codes and see if I no longer have a, a uh, catalytic converter O2 sensor code. <laughs>